be starting a new series about building block circuits, uh, showing circuit operation in simulators, but using more of a rule of thumb approach for uh, a little more intuitive understanding of the circuit. All right, I'm just going to start a new file and build up the circuit. get the circuit build up and just a quick explanation of what the negative clamper circuit is going to do is it's going to take the input signal and it's going to shift it down below zero volts well actually it'll be just above zero volts because we have to take into account the voltage drop across the diode but I'm going to run it and You'll see what I mean. Okay, here's the input waveform, and here is our shifted output waveform. And if you look here, you'll see well, about 0.7 volts right there, and that accounts for the voltage drop across the diode. Just like Kirchhoff's law, it states total voltage in a closed circuit is equal to the sum of voltage drops in that closed circuit. What we have is 0.7 volt drop across a diode, so we must have 4.3 volt drop across a capacitor to equal the input voltage. And to prove that, it's there is a visual correlation between the math and the graph here. If you look, we have uh, 0.7 volts where our diode starts conducting and 5 volts, which is 5 minus 0.7 volts is 4.3 volts, and that is the voltage stored in the capacitor. So if you look here on the waveform, the input waveform, during the positive half of the cycle, our diode is conducting. It's forward biased. And it is charging to the difference between 5 volts and 0.7 volts, which is 4.3 volts, and that will continue until we get to zero volts, where it will be reverse biased and stop conducting. And during the negative half of the cycle, 
what is going to happen is the output is going to see what is the voltage that store the sum of the voltage C1 and peak voltage. It's 5 volts plus 4.3 volts which is 9.3 volts and again we look we can prove that on our waveform our output waveform if we look here we'll see those two sum together we get approximately 9.3 volts somewhere in there as the cycle continues we'll be increasing towards zero volts again and once we reach 0.7 volts where we overcome the PN junction of the diode we start conducting again and again we start the charge capacitor and we do the whole thing over that was a quick introduction to the first circuit in the series uh, I plan on doing the biased negative clamper circuit next video um, if uh, you like this format with the LT Spice I'll continue uh, let me know I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you next time